As the parent of two boys who have grown up entirely in the post-worldwide web world, you know, I've had a front row seat to watching the role that the social media outlets play in their lives. And I think it's, it's something that parents need to take very seriously, that when kids are developing friendships and they're looking at how to interact with their peers, this is the milieu in which that's happening. They're on Facebook, they use Twitter, they text. Actually, they text and use Facebook a lot more than they use Twitter. Um, Twitter, I think, is actually kind of a slightly older generational thing. But that can't be diminished. You really cannot minimize the amount that this, or the importance that this plays in kids' lives. The, the issue that you run into is that so much of social interaction and so much of maturation is the development of judgment and understanding what is appropriate in a given situation. And I think one of the real risks of social media, when combined with the technology that they have available, is that it provides kids with opportunity that requires judgment that they don't have yet. And so I think that what parents need to be particularly conscious of is that the technology will leapfrog the developmental stages of their children. And so they have to pay particular attention to what their kids are ready to do and the responsibility that they're capable of showing. And part of providing kids access to technology is making a really mature, on the part of the parents, mature assessment of whether or not they're prepared to handle it. And then once you've done that, it's not simply enough to say, I'm reasonably confident my child is mature enough to use this properly, but then to engage in the ongoing supervision to make sure that that is in fact how they're using it. Because even the most mature kid does stupid things and you need to be prepared to help them out or to give them the tools to be less stupid.